All right, welcome back. Part two, we're gonna keep going at it. Uh, we're halfway through this fellowship box. Uh, so far, so good. I think the best is yet to come. Uh, stick around to find out. We're gonna open the rest of the box here in this video. Uh, let's see what we can make happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's another cool Pippin with the Frodo Signet. Your opponent may not discard your Hobbit Tales from play, which which is, you know, pretty valuable. So we've now pulled both the rare and the common Pippin, uh, the Frodo Signet or the Gandalf Signet one. Um, yeah, they're both great. The seen and the unseen. Exert two elves to discard a condition. Treachery deeper than you know. Spot Gandalf to reveal an opponent's hand. If you have Glamdring, you can exert Gandalf to look at an opponent's hand, so I don't know. While the fellowship is at Anduin Wilderness, skip the archery phase. Yeah, that if you're depending on archers to to clear the battlefield, then this can really screw up your end game. Um, yeah, this this can, this causes problems sometimes for me. Uh, armor. So so that's yeah. You're gonna want to throw one of these in there. Um, this is how, especially if you're not playing with Gandalf, like. How else are you going to get past the Balrog if if you don't have some armor on Aragorn or, or Boromir? Um, host of Thousands, play a Moria Orc from your discard pile. Extraordinary Resilience. If the Ring Bear is about to heal, remove a Burden instead. That's great. Slopes of Ammon Hen. That's another site nine um, where your, I mean your Isengard uh, minions are cheaper. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. I got, there's there's more interesting site nines to me, but there's an argument to be made that that could be that could be worth it. Worth it. Orc assassin. Uh, this is a good one for a for a Sauron deck. The roaming penalty of each Sauron menu you play is minus one. It's a tracker. Uh, spot two Hobbit companions to make the free people's player assign a Hobbit to skirmish this minion. So forcing the Hobbits to fight, great strategy. Yeah, love it. Goblin Runner, put four of these in every Moria deck. This this is a Twilight Generation machine. Um, yeah, this is one of the most important cards in the game I, I i can say that with confidence for sure gimli's helm that's the rare his helmet um bear must be gimli he takes no more than one wound during each skirmish fade so damage bonuses don't apply to him none of that exert your orc to wound a companion stuff would apply uh discard gimli's helm to prevent all wounds to him so Unless you're overwhelming him, uh, it's pretty hard to kill Gimli unexpectedly when the helm is on. I'm running out of real estate here. I'm running out of places to s put the cards. Um, hmm. Don't know why I didn't foresee that problem, but. Eh. Whatever, we'll make it work. All right, pack number 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Summit of Ammon Hen. Yeah, that's that's the one I like. I was talking about this earlier. 
that is my preferred site nine um just because i'm so scared of that scenario of, of just not having the carrots to put up a good fight at the end um yeah this really opens up your options dwarven armor won't be overwhelmed unless his strength is tripled the bounder another very very important card exert this ally to prevent a hobbit from being overwhelmed unless that hobbit's strength is tripled um, and he is a sight two uh, rather than a sight one hobbit so he can actually participate in skirmishes um, which is great uh, great shield makes the minion archery total one less uh, songs of the blessed realm blessed realm plays your support area each time you play a elf tail you may remove a burden wow really wow okay why don't you see this more often that's a that's that's a great little getting rid of burdens trick Sauron snows yeah that's a that's a crippling weather condition because when it's in when it's functioning no player may play skirmish events or use skirmish special abilities at this site wild yeah that can really do some damage you bring great evil to play spot a Sauron orc plays on a companion except an elf while at a sanctuary bearer cannot heal yep that's, that's a tough one the long dark plays to your support area when the fellowship moves to site four or five add two for each dwarf companion skirmish discard this condition to make your orc strength plus two yeah yeah, I mean, that that would counteract some of the dwarf stuff where it's like uh, every underground site. So this is speaking to the part of the game where you're pretty much forced to go underground a lot of the times. And with the dwarf decks uh, that you're competing against sometimes, they really drain that twilight pool uh, just by being dwarfs, dwarfs. So this would counteract some of that uh, Shire Lookout Point which is great uh, in conjunction with Gandalf's cart, like I said earlier, um, that Gandalf's cart deck that I use online. Um, this is my site one, and then I can get the cart out right away and never have to worry about my hand being full of weapons I can't lay down. Um, very happy to draw that. Rumil, Elven Protector, site six elf. Uh, so Lothlorien exert Romeo to wound an orc yeah hell yeah oh man uh, thank god I was really I mean there's 121 rares in this in this set and you're only getting 36 of them in a box so I mean one in three chance that we would find a cave troll today i have a cave troll um already but it's scratched up and banged up and bent so to pull a mint one um yeah like i'm on prescription drugs that don't really let me get too excited but i'm pretty excited now that, that's fucking great i mean this is this is kind of the the, I mean, I, I can't get up any more excited than this because um, of the benzos, but damn, if I could, I would be pretty stoked right now. Uh, Cave Troll Moria. I mean, let's, let's just talk about him for another quick sec because so we drew this earlier, Troll's Keyword. So... You drop the troll's keyword for first, and then instead of costing 10 to put out, uh, he now costs 8. But if you're underground, it's minus 3. At an underground site, Cave Troll Moria's Twilight Cost is minus 3. 
So if you get to site four, site five, and you find yourself underground like you often do, uh, drop him first, and then it only you can play him for half the cost. Um, and he's damage plus one and fierce, and you can't play him unless you drop an orc first. So, oh yeah, I mean that's just. I'm just, I'm so happy to have another one of him. He's got some cool weapons, too. Um, usually you don't see them pop up. Weapons are not a big priority, uh, aside the, from the scimitars and, and, and swarm decks, because they just take up space. But, uh, you know, keeping a few troll weapons is not something your opponents usually are prepared for, so it's a strategy. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. Oh my god Bilbo's pipe foil Fuck yeah Wow Yeah that's That's pretty Especially for someone that just Loves the pipe decks Like oh my god Bear must be a hobbit Discard a pipe weed possession And spot X pipes to shuffle X tails from your discard pile into your draw deck. Yeah, I mean, tails are super important, but it just adds one to the pipe total, too. So that's a big win. Uh, let's get this guy sleeved up and on a little stand over here. We're, we're running into a theme. You know, we got one sight foil and then, then two hobbit foils now, so... Wow, okay. So, at least we know we're getting three at the minimum. Um, let's get a sleeve protector on here, too. It's an uncommon, so... Yeah, maybe I won't get that one graded, but... Um, who knows, I might just play with that in a deck or keep it in my foil binder as just a, a flex I just oh man I just love that so much okay and there we go see some sometimes I feel like a human did this you know sometimes the the packs seem to have themes to them because there's old Toby so um so that's the sativa version of the of the hobbit weed uh and you get to draw a card when you play it goblin spear um i've lost games just because i've seen guys drop a scimitar or um you know they drop a scimitar on one orc and then they drop this on the second orc and i just i'm not paying attention and i assume it's a scimitar but then it's this um Oh, wait, no. No, no, there's a different... There's a different orc weapon that lets you exert to make them stronger. That's not this. Um, this adds a burden if they kill a companion or two companions if they kill the hobbit. So, yeah, I mean, that's... There's too many variables. Um, not gonna even try to pronounce Mandalorian's name, but that's a that's a site six ally uh, that carries the game text from your site six for for the rest of the game if if you can spot your site six. Urukai Armory uh, reduces the Fellowship Archery total. Pretty sweet. Cleaving Blow make a dwarf strength plus two and damage plus one. Hobbit Stealth very important card you can cancel skirmishes with hobbits all the way up to site five so even the balrog you could drop one of these and escape him uler lamenia each companion or ally who bears a wraith condition is strength minus two support of the last homely house never seen this before 
Exert an elf ally whose home is site 3. Until the regroup phase, that ally is strength plus 3 and participates in archery, fire, and skirmishes. That's great. That's a great little thing to keep in your hand just as a, you know, if, if you're if you're outnumbered, call in for backups. That's, if you don't have Boromir and his horn um, in your deck, then this would be a nice alternative if you're running running around with elves. Um, Sauron's Frost, another weather condition, makes the hobbits weaker at this site. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. That's... That is a great rare to have. Um, that's one of the best pulls, I think, as far as non-foils go. Um, everybody loves Arwen. That's one of the sickest Arwen's card, cards in the game because um, she's strength plus three when she's skirmishing in Nazgul. Uh, I think that's like a $20 card. Um, yeah. Wow. So we got the, we got the Elrond and the Arwen rares. That, that's a, that's a win. Um, just gonna show you guys what's going on over here. So that's all the different packs stacked with the rare on top. Can't, can't get that all in the frame. Uh, okay. Wow. Shouldn't have took that edible before I started this. I'm having a good time though. This is it's not a bummer. It's just uh, whoa. All right, it's it's this is sensory overload. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Okay. Treachery deeper than you know. Anduin wilderness. Armor. Host of thousands. Extraordinary Resilience. Axe Strike. Breeding Pit. Green Dragon Inn. Currently I'm playing with a with a deck um, that uses Green Dragon Inn as its site one. Dropping Aragorn in my starting fellowship and then exerting Frodo to pull Sam out of the deck. So, um, <coughs> yeah, if Sam is important to your strategy, um, here's, a way, here's a way to make sure he comes around early. Um, foul creation. Exert an elf to reveal an opponent's hand. You may discard a Isengard minion to reveal minion revealed to draw two cards. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah. All blades perish. If a Nazgul is about to take a wound, prevent that wound. Morgul Warden is the rare. For each other Sauron Orc you can spot, Morgul Warden is strength plus one. Yeah, that's that's a great orc. And and I don't think we've doubled up on rares yet, which is cool. So every pack so far has been a different rare. Um no matter what happens the rest of the way with the foils and stuff. Uh, just, this has been great as just far as growing my collection for the sake of playing the game, which is why I do this, um, building, you know, I love to build decks so that when my friends come over, um, they don't have to spend time building their own deck and they can just p pick through pre-made decks that I have, but when you don't have a big giant ton of cards it's it's hard to you know it's hard to get the decks all balanced and there's, there's just so much to consider it, it is it's a very intricate game um it's not easy to teach it's not easy to learn uh i do my best with it but uh there's just there's a lot of moving pieces and and every set it gets a little more complicated movie block is like trying to win a game of movie block in a competitive tournament or something it's like trying to write a friggin master's thesis it's it's nuts like it takes so much brain power 
I mean, fellowship, like, I'll play a couple games of fellowship when I wake up in the morning sometimes. Um, movie block, that's more like a, I gotta be locked in for that. Bounder, can't have enough of him. And he's, it's not a specific bounder, it's just a bounder, so you could play four of these if you want it. Um, you probably wouldn't, but you could, I, I do see people play two just as a backup, especially if they're not running the Frodo that can heal their allies. A great shield. Um, Songs of the Blessed Realm. Soromon Snow. You bring great evil. Plundered Armories. Enton Moors. Athilles, that's a great one. Um, Bear must be a, a Gondor man. Discard this possession to heal a companion or remove a shadow condition from a companion. So we're talking Blade Tip. We're talking Black Breath. We're talking about all those crazy Sauron things. Uh, any, like, most times this is, this is getting a Blade Tip off somebody, just like in the movie. Um very very handy uh, I keep two or threes of these in every deck with Aragorn in it Lothlorien Woods that's a sick that beautiful uh, forest would be a great uh, foil each ally whose home site is six is strength plus three um, so that is a good way to get out of Moria and into somewhere safe where your your elf allies can do the fighting for you um Nazgul sword bear must be in Nazgul while you can spot three burdens bear is damage plus one another one of those cards that's just connected to plot makes sense the game mechanic makes sense it tracks with the movie um the more the closer Frodo is to being corrupt the more the Nazgul or uh, the more damage they can cause uh there we go Another character rare, another Hobbit rare. Uh, one of the best Frodo cards in the game with the Gandalf signet, old Bilbo's heir. At the start of each of your turn, you may heal a Hobbit ally. Um, so that is great because you can heal the gaffer and then the gaffer can heal you and you can heal the bounder so the bounder can save you again. Um, yeah, uh, you, this is probably one of the most commonly used Frodo's. Um, uh, especially in fellowship block um yeah that's just great okay god oh oh my god what the hell that is oh you frig oh my luck today another another foil rare hobbit card what did i do to deserve this that is so sick his sword is shiny and nothing else except the borders and the so this is the answer to moria swarms you uh add one burden to wound each minion skirmishing the ring bear uh this saves the game a lot very important card one of the most important cards in the in the series i think uh, it, that is just wild. I think this, as a foil, is between 40 and $50. I can't quite remember the math. Um, again, not important. I'm just... This might be worth sending to PSA. Um, that is, it's a highly coveted card, even in the non-foils. I would have been happy to just find one of these as a regular um man what a good day to be a hobbit deck I'm, uh, wow 
So four out of the possible seven foils have come in and three of them are Hobbit cards. So, so that's our theme. I was hoping to be able to show you guys and brag about my, uh, how many different color card sleeves I have, but it's, it's all hobbits. So we're just going green, green, green. Um, wow. Yeah, I think I'll grade that. That's friggin' awesome. Okay. Ten more cards in that pack. Goblin Spear. Another one of her. Maidalorian. Urukai Armory. Leaving Blow, Hobbit Stealth, Dagger Strike, Urk Slayer, Swan Ship of the Galadrahim, Exert an Elf Ally whose home site is 6 until the regroup phase that ally is strength plus 3. Okay, that I think we've seen that before. Uh, Rivendell Waterfall. Play an elf to draw a card. And that's the rare. And it's despair. And it says maneuver if the total number of burdens and companions in the dead pile is at least 12, spot a Sauron orc to corrupt the ring bearer. Whoa. That's a nuclear card. Uh, never seen that work before. Obviously, a few things have to go right. Um, to get that number up to 12 but uh that's interesting at least uh, i yeah okay yeah talk me into that one um whoever runs uh sauron decks in fellowship sauron decks get a lot more interesting in uh return of the king block there's some big bad monsters in that uh, in that series really cool trolls too I wish there was another uh, cave troll of Moria card in Fellowship like a they should have did an uncommon or a common one like they did with the Balrog so everybody could experience how fun it is to drop a cave troll on, on someone's ass one two three four five six seven There, Arrows and Rage. To play spots Soromon or Urukai, plays to your support area. Each archer companion and archer ally is strength minus one. Interesting. That's not a unique thing either. You could stack four of these in your support area, and all of a sudden, Legolas is strength, strength two? It's friggin' crazy. Um, just not something you see much of, so... Um, interesting concept west farthing exert a hobbit companion exert a hobbit to play a companion or ally that character's twilight cost is minus one so choke deck maybe um don't see that come up lots uh sword armor of the white tower that's a great event make a um gondor companion strength plus two or four if he's defender plus one just just an iconic shot too with the sunlight shining on the tomb oh man I love these movies drums in the deep sneaky orc pump if you want it dwarf guard uh, it's a cool little companion non-unique character just like that Lorian elf you could put four of these in your starting fellowship although I don't know if that's the best call Urk Bloodlust uh, plays your support area. If your Urkai wins a skirmish, remove one to heal him. Interesting. Oh, yeah. I hate this condition. I hate playing against this condition. It's very annoying. Um, 
to play exert a Sauron tracker, plays to your support area. Each time the fellowship moves, the free people's player must exert a companion. Um, yeah, uh, you see that a lot in, in, in the Sauron um, Mordor decks. Balin's Tomb. Discard a tail from play or from hand to heal your companion. Let Foley be our cloak. Exert X companions to remove X. That's interesting for a choke deck. Um, yeah. And it's a Gandalf event that you don't necessarily need to spot Gandalf for. So, so I like that too. Um, plays your support area. If a stealth card is played, exert a Sauron tracker to cancel that event. That's another wild one. I mean... That could kill Frodo right there um, if he was trying to run. Um, and there's the rare, the Mirror of Galadriel. Plays to your support area. Each elf ally whose home site is six is strength plus one. Exert Galadriel to look at two cards at random from an opponent's hand. Discard one and replace the other. Okay. Yeah. Into that. Okay, not many left here. We've had a great evening so far with this. I'm pretty stoked. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Another uh, sword arm of the White Tower. Another drums in the deep. Another dwarf guard. Another irk. Bloodlust. Another one of those. I love, love to... Well, I just said I hate that card, but I, I love it if I'm playing it. Uh, Pippin. The Seen and the Unseen. We've seen this already. Black Breath. That's the first Black Breath I can remember. So that's a really important condition when you're playing with Wraiths. Um, plays your support area. Transfer this continue condition from your support area to a character skirmishing in Nazgul. Burdens and wounds may not be removed from bear. So, um, this is different from blade tip. Blade tip is they have to win the skirmish to be able to transfer it from the support area. But this, they just have to be squared up against them. They don't have to win anything. So, you can just put this on someone even though they're going to beat you um, in the skirmish and it just stays with them until you're, you're able to find a way to remove it. Um, and when you have this in conjunction with blade tip and both of them are stacked on somebody, uh, their chances of survival are pretty slim. So um, very important card, very important. Um, a talent for not being seen, hobbit condition, Exert a hobbit to play it uh, in your support area. Each time the fellowship moves, spot two hobbit companions to make the shadow m number minus one or spot four to make it minus two. Yeah, so the sight number, like the shadow number of the sight. If you could see two hobbits while you move there, it would be reduced by one and four would, be, would reduce it by two. So great strategy for a choke deck. Um... Theron, I don't know how to say this Dwarven Swift Smith's name, but this is an ally that can exert himself to catch up with the Fellowship and join the fight. Uh, really, I mean, even in decks that aren't Dwarf decks, you see him just as a as a get-out-of-jail-free card. Uh, love that little guy. Blade of Gondor, that's the rare. That's Boromir's sword. Um, it has a similar effect to the frying pan, except you can use it on Urukai too, where you just exert Boromir to wound an orc or an Urukai. So if he's being overwhelmed, he can, he can, if, if there's two minions on him, he might be able to get rid of one of them and then kill the other. Um, yeah, that's a wonderful rare. That's, that's great. Just going to keep stacking those in the back. Okay. Spread these out a little. So 
So those are our two uh, rare foils. And then we have an uncommon foil. And we have another uncommon location foil. Okay. Yeah, this is this is a little less chaotic for me. I'm gonna move some of these back. I'm running out of real estate here. I'm just trying to be less messy with this box opening. When I opened that last Moria box, there's just cards everywhere. Uh, anyway, all right. We are nearing the bitter end, folks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who knows when, if ever, I'll do all this again. Uh, the packs, the, the boxes, despite not being overly expensive, they're, they are hard to source. There's, there's only so many of them left in the world, and I know that some collectors just like to keep them as sealed products just to, just to you know, be more of an archivist rather than a, uh, a guy that's going to rip them all open on YouTube. Um, but I think, I think it's important to rip them up on YouTube, too, just to to help grow the game and um you know um just keep the keep the hobby alive you know keep it going uh keep getting new content out there um anyway sam this is a great sam because you can exert him to remove a burden a lot of people that bid high uh because they really need their site one down for strategy uh they'll bid high and then include sam in their starting fellowship to get those burdens back down um and then sacrifice them at site two usually um elven cloak uh, it's a cool possession um you don't see it come up a lot but i like it makes the minion archery a total minus one uh, and you can you could put four of them four of your companions could be having one of those and then arrows can never really touch you uh goblin wall crawler at an underground site at strength plus two um it has another function there with the fellowship archery total urukai sword that's a sick shot that'd be a great foil um another discard function to it another one of the council courtyards where they decide it and debate it with the plan um on how to destroy the ring the ring's oppression Oppression, yeah, okay. Um, if a Sauron orc kills a companion, add one burden or three if the ring bearer wears the one ring. Here lies Balin, son of Fundin. Exert a dwarf to wound two orcs or to wound one orc twice. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of like making a dwarf an archer in a way so i i love it i think that's great oh yeah oh that's great arwen's horse um ass fell off ass fell off jesus okay uh bear must be an elf when played on arwen ass fall off's twilight cost is minus two while at a plain site, bearer is strength plus two. Discard ass fell off when at an underground site. So, so that's the, yeah, I mean, t one or two of nine of the sites right in the middle of the game are going to be underground sites. So you're going to either wait till site six to play him or just play him early and know that he's going to go away at some point. Uh, but, I mean, it, it's a great card. Um Wreathed in Shadow, to play Spot in Nazgul, place your support area, remove one to make the Fellowship Archery total minus one. I will. Prancing Pony, um, one of the most common uh, sight ones when you're playing. Uh, everybody wants to start at the Prancing Pony so they can fill their Fellowship with other people and then 
just add that burden to pull everyone out of the deck um makes a lot of sense to me um yeah black steed bear must be in nazgul this is the rare while at a plain site bear is strength plus two discard this possession when an under at an underground site so none of the horses in the game or the ponies can go underground that i mean what about pit ponies i mean coal miners used pit ponies all the time they and they used uh, draft horses to pull i mean what is it about middle earth where the horses don't want to go underground that's not the same as regular earth um sorry i come from a coal mine in town um okay they shot a movie called the pit pony in my town one of my buddies older brothers was a background actor in it and we all thought he was uh gonna be famous but it was just like a little like a yeah yeah pit pony go watch it it's not as good as any of these movies but it's a movie uh one two three four five six seven dwarven hearse condition bear must be a dwarf when you play this condition heal bear up to two times at the start of each of your turn exert bearer okay so yeah i mean like it gets you out of trouble but then there's the consequence and i guess like that's the thing with game mechanics is that the best ones are the ones that you know balance out the the cost and the risk to the reward so um interesting card you don't see it come up a lot hobbit party guest um this is another if you don't want to use uh if you don't want to use this frodo in your deck uh put him in there instead if you're dealing with hobbit allies because he can heal your allies instead and then you can use a different frodo um i like this card a lot uh but again it minions are only roaming for the first three to six sites so uh it doesn't really have any function in the end game or even the mid game for some cultures um but if you can pull this early um you can just make a nazgul go away at site two uh, or something cool um forces of mordor event uh spot x mordor minions to add x yeah exert an uruk to make it strength plus three um sure i mean there's other events that you don't have to exert and you can make them strength plus two or four if you see five companions um we're talking about savagery to match their numbers which i hope to draw uh here today uh still draws breath if a dwarf wins a skirmish heal that dwarf goblin scavengers again st another staple of the moria decks you're gonna have four goblin runners you're gonna have four goblin armories you're gonna have four goblin scavengers and you're gonna have four goblin scimitars and the rest you can debate two or three swarms you know scouts backstabbers wall crawlers but this is uh this is just a twilight machine this you know when you have your your armory set up you have your weapons in the discard pile every time you drop one of these crazy guys you get to pull up one of those weapons and then with the armories you're going to add one and one and one and one uh and then just pump up that twilight and then you're going to be able to drop more minions and just swarm the fellowship uh swarm frodo and the game uh this is the other orc archer from site six that can exert to wound an urukai uh love that guy rivendell waterfall while you can spot a ranger at the rivendell waterfall the move limit is uh plus one for this turn so a ranger that would be aragorn or arwen or faramir if we're getting into later sets
Their power is in terror. Exert a Nazgul to wound every ally. Wow, yeah. And that's the rare. Regroup. Spot a ranger to remove four. An able guide. I never, I never seen this rare before. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to double move and there's too much twilight on the board, that's that's a great way to reduce that twilight and make the route safer. I, I like that. All right, we are gonna. Let me see. Just take them all out. It is almost over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight packs left. Um, we could still get a double foil pack. Um, I'd like to see at least two more foils. Even one more foil would be enough. Um, all right, let's wrap this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. More you scout. When you play this minion, spot an elf to add to. So if you're playing against a guy with an elf in his fellowship or his support area, um, this is a free minion. Drop four of these. You don't got to pay for them. Another very important card for the swarm decks. Um, Urk Brood. Remove two to make this minion strength plus one for each other Urukai you can spot. Bridge of Kazadoom, the only Site 5 in Fellowship block. Um, play the Balrog from your draw deck or hand. The Balrog's Twilight cost is minus 6. So if, if you were playing the game before the Mines of Moria set dropped, you wouldn't even have the Balrog. You might not even know what the Balrog is, so this would read pretty confusing to you. Um, and then, you know, this was a way of saying... There's more to come. Stick around. Far Seeing Eyes plays to your support area. Each time you play an elf, choose an opponent to discard a card from hand. Another Dwarven Heart. I'm glad it's a condition and not a possession, because that'd be weird. Uh, Hobbit Party Guests. And another uh, ally that is not unique, so you could put four of him down. And not, I'm not sure why you would want that, but you could. Um, love that. We talked about that already. Uh, Bree Streets, the roaming penalty for each Nazgul you play to Bree Streets is minus two. Um, I don't know why you can't just say Nazgul are not roaming, because uh, that's the same thing. So... Um, a lot of Nazgul decks put this as their site too, just so they can get their minions on the board faster and cheaper. Um, Cylinde, Elf of Mirkwood. Another one of those cards, uh, those allies that just carry over the site text from, from one of your sanctuaries. Uh, what is this? Gleaming Spirals Will Crumble. Plays to your support area. Each Sauron Orc skirmishing a Gondor character is strength plus two. Discard this condition if your Sauron Orc loses a skirmish. Ooh, okay, and that's the rare. The Splendor of their Banners. It's a tail. Bear must be an elf companion. Archery. If Bear is an archer, exert Bear to make the Fellowship Archery total plus one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Okay.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there we go. Urkai raiding party. I love the the trees are shiny. No special feature, just damage plus one. Beefy minion. Common. Uh, let's foil it up. We're going to use black for uh, the bad guys. Okay. So we're up to five. Five foils. And six packs to go. So I'm just so glad that this wasn't one of those weird fluke decks that only has like a couple foils in it. That'd be pretty uh, anticlimactic. All right, looking good here. Elendil's Valor. Make a Gondor Companion Defender plus one. Uh, Halls of My Home. Exert a Dwarf to reveal the top three cards of your draw deck. You may discard one shadow card revealed. Return the rest in any order. Return the rest in any order? What do you mean? Return the rest in any order to the top of your deck? Nah, eh, I don't know. Orc Ambusher. The roaming penalty um, for each uh, Sauron minions minus one, which is great because they are site six minions. They're roaming all the way up to site six. Um, so um, most of the game, this would be a help. Um, if the free people's, if a free people's regroup event is played, exert this minion to cancel that event. Canceling events a cool, a cool thing. Irk fighter, um, he's fierce if you can spot five companions. Hobbit appetite, add X to heal a Hobbit companion X times. Another one. I'm just gonna nerd out about this. Um, add X. So, add more Twilight to the to the pool. Um, make Sauron's eye grow stronger on your presence. Is the is the risk in order to heal a Hobbit? Um, and you get to decide how big your fire is and how much food they're eating. It's just like you remember that scene right before Weathertop where they decided to fry up some food and the fire um drew the attention of the nazgul just as this they're just taking beats from the script and turning them into a game and i just can't understate how much i love that uh elf song spot an elf to remove a burden um absolutely all day keep a few of these in your elf deck burdens are scary um because the consequences are so high because if Frodo gets to 10 burdens he becomes this golem like creature and I think that's a face a fate worse than death so um terrifying wariness if a stealth event is played exert or discard your urukai to cancel that event legolas prince of mirkwood that's a great Legolas. Uh, while skirmishing in Nazgul, he is strength plus three. Um, a lot like this Arwen deck. It's just, I mean, if you knew your opponent was playing with Nazguls, absolutely just drop these two in your starting fellowship because they're going to come out swinging, fighting at a nine strength before any weapons or events or conditions are applied. So um unfortunately there's no way to know what deck your opponent is running around with so um 
yeah, it it uh, it might not pay off that way. Um, yeah. Okay, but I'm I'm happy to have them. Pillars of the Kings discard a Gondor card from hand to heal a Gondor companion. Oh my God! There we go. That's that is great news for me. That's uh, another. That's a Sealdor's Bane. So, had this been foil, that would be the most expensive card you can pull from this uh, from this box. So this is the other ring um, that gives the the health bonus. Um, So, and, and this is the one that can absorb archery wounds and convert them into burdens. Uh, the other one can't. This one can. So, um, it's a response action rather than a, a maneuver action or a, or a skirmish action. So, um, very happy to be pulling that. All right. Still got six more packs. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Halls of my home. Another ambusher, another fighter, Hobbit appetite, elf song. Their arrows in rage, they sure do. West farthing, or hunters, bitter hatred. Spot a Moria archer to wound an elf. Midgewater Moors. Each time a minion is played, the free people's player discards a card from your hand. Very annoying. Oh, yeah, there's our rare. Uh, Ulair Toldea. Spot four burdens to assign a companion. Except the ring bearer to skirmish Ulair Toldea. That's great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Even the backs of the cards are so sick. Oh, there we go. It's a common foil. Uh, Aregian's Trails. Really cool. The landscape is all shiny and the characters are, are not... Uh, exert a ranger to make each roaming minion strength minus three until the regroup phase. You know, you'd have to put in order to make in order to use that advantage properly, you would need to draw this early. So, you would probably want to keep more than one of these in your deck just to increase those odds. Um, and then if they no longer become relevant. Those can just be the cards you discard when you reconcile. But we're going to get on a fancy uh, silver sleeve for this one. Um, and that is our sixth foil. So and that's all I'm expecting for foils. Um, it's, it's, a hard, it's a hard game to predict. Um, you never know don't necessarily turn the video off there still could be some pretty sweet rares in here uh, all right
What else from this pack? Forces of Mordor. Spot X. Mordor minions to add X. Bread for battle. Still draws breath. Goblin scavengers. Can't have enough of those. Summon of Ammon Hen. My favorite site nine in Fellowship Block. Uh, Dwarven Armor. Midgewater Marshes. Uh, each time a hobbit moves to Midgewater Marshes, that hobbit must exert. Straight out of the movie, the hobbits are so short they had a hard time walking through the marsh while Aragorn didn't, so that's why you would have to exert them and not Aragorn because stamina um, and health are all merged into one beautiful thing we call vitality, which... I think is a really cool way to do uh, health points um, in any in any kind of game. Uh, this is the uncommon version of Gimli that is uh, loyal to Aragorn. Uh, damage plus one. Add two to place a card from your hand beneath your draw deck. You don't really see this one come up just because there's more interesting Gimli options, but uh, I do appreciate that sentiment. Uh, path seldom trodden. This is the Buckleberry Fairy scene. Uh, so scary. Uh, these these guys are terrified. This I was so scared of these Nazgul and those orcs when I was a kid. I can't even tell you. To play spotted Nazgul, plays your support area. Remove three to replace the Fellowship site with your version of the same site. Yeah, love that. If sites are important to your gameplay try that condition out orc war band that's our rare exert this minion to wound a character uh it is skirmishing hell yeah dude that's great all right four more packs here One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let them come. Hobbit Intuition. Strength Born of Fear. Moria Scout. Irk Brood. Bridge of Kazadoom. Far seeing eyes. Uh, I just want to go back to this for a second. This is the only site five in the game, so they're they must be making an assumption that you've bought a starter deck because uh, how could you play the game without a site five? Um, they should have put these are common, but they should have been double common. I should have five of these by now, um, just because you need them to to play. So. Far seeing eyes, um, another discard, little tricky thing. Uh, weather top. That's, yeah, each Nazgul at weather top is fierce. Yeah, they're coming up that hill mad as hell. Remember the, the, the video game? Uh, that was such a hard level to beat in the Lord of the Rings, uh, Two Towers game for GameCube and, I guess PlayStation and Xbox too, but uh, my God, I love that game. But the weather top level, I, I think I had to get one of my cousins to beat that for me. Anyway, um, Trader's Voice. This hasn't come up yet. Um, to play spot in Urukai, plays to your support area. While the ring bearer is exhausted, or you can spot five burdens. The move limit for this turn is minus one. Okay, not reading all that in the middle of a game. Um, one whom men would follow. Exert Aragorn and spot an ally until the regroup phase. That ally is strength plus two and participates in archery fire and skirmishes. I didn't know there was this many alternatives to Boromir's horn. I mean, I guess Boromir's horn is the best way to 
call allies up uh, from the minor leagues. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's there's a case to be made for that. Beauty is fading. Um, exert, speak for yourself. Exert a Nazgul to discard a free people's possession or free people's condition. If you can spot no such card, discard an ally or companion except the ring bear instead. That's crazy, dude. That's a never even heard of this rare that uh i mean discarding you can just discard aragorn and everything attached to him that's wild um okay maybe i'll try that one out i mean it's uh yeah it costs five twilight to play so not easy to get down but damn that's nuclear Some of these packs are stiff. I had to open that one with my teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Elven Cloak. Goblin Wall Crawler. Urkai Sword. Council Courtyard. Ooh, what's this? The Ring's Oppression. Oh, yeah. We talked about that already. Here lies Balin. Old Toby. Can't get enough of old Toby. The Master's Will. Spot X Nazgul to reveal the top X cards of your draw deck. Take into your hand all Nazgul cards revealed and discard the rest. Halfling Deafness. Exert a Hobbit to make him strength plus three. I mean, yeah. You just the stealth events probably just carry more weight to them because they have double features. Ford of Bruin in the twilight cost of the first Nazgul played at the Ford uh, is minus five. What a what a crazy crazy sequence this was. Um. Yeah, man. If you want him, come and claim him. What a legendary line. Questions that need answering. This is the rare. Uh, if the Twilight Pool has fewer than three tokens, spot Gandalf to look at the top four cards of your draw deck. Take two of those cards into your hand and discard the rest. So... Yeah, Gandalf's on a... He has a thirst for knowledge, and he's going to dig up cards for you. That's cool. Costs three to play. Uh, yeah, case could be made for including that in a deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Defiance. Kirk Rager, Pathfinder, Mordor Strength, Threat of the Unknown, Exert your Moria Arc to draw two cards. That's cool. I didn't, I, I've never seen that. Urk Soldier, when you play this minion, yeah, it's a discard one. Screw you. Stairs of Kazadoom, plays your support area. While the dwarf skirmishes a, a Moria minion, that dwarf is strength plus one. And these are not, uh, you can have more than one, you can have four of these. So every time Gimli's fighting a cave troll, um, he's strength plus four or, or any orc. That's really cool, actually. I'm surprised you don't see this more often. A ranger's versatility. Spot a ranger at a river or a forest to exhaust up to two minions. That's pretty, pretty cool, especially because the maneuver phase become comes before the archery phase. So, um, you could exhaust two minions and then snipe them with Aragorn's bow or Legolas Greenleaf. Trollshaw forest. That's really cool. Um, 
I think this played more in the extended version or, or in the deleted scenes. Um, but it's, it's a cool, cool location. The stone trolls. Um, each time you play a possession or artifact on your companion, draw a card. Morgul Skirmisher, remove three to exert a hobbit except the ring bearer. Interesting. Oh, man. This is my f one of my favorite sands. First of all, what a handsome photo of Sean Astin. Uh, Rudy. Rudy had a lot of spirit. Uh, I love how Rudy and Sam have said... There's so much parallels. Um, what a career. Play Build a Pony from your draw deck. Here's the thing. Build a, Build a Pony's not in this set. Build a Pony isn't until Realms of the Elf Lord, set three. So, um, what a disinformation, crazy little thing. Like, there was, this guy had no value in sets one and two. And then all of a sudden, um, build a pony comes along and, and build a pony is for choke decks absolutely put two build a ponies in um, love this card I play with this card online all the time so happy to have um, I must have did the pack trick wrong though because why is why is he the first oh I already okay Sorry, I'm losing my mind here. It's getting late. Um, we're down to the last pack. We're we're looking good. I'll do an I'll I'll turn the camera over here and look at all the rares when we're done. But we have six foils. We have mm, tons of character rares. This is the last pack. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I don't have any more sealed product on the shelf right now but um probably around christmas time i uh, will look into grabbing something um i think i'd like to open realms of the elf lord next um because i've done moria twice and i've done this once and um yeah that would be that would complete the fellowship block before i move on to two towers um uh, one two three four five six seven so if you're listening to this philip or um anybody else but most likely philip um if you have a realms of the elf lord box you want to sell me uh you know where to find me oh my god oh bro what the fuck dude i wasn't expecting a seventh foil if you get seven foils it usually means there's a one of them was a double pack so uh man it's like it's one thing to get a foil like this that's a common that you're never gonna really use in a deck but it's like dude every deck i play with that has moria orcs in it i have this in my in my deck so to get a, a foil that you actually play with is really cool um and it's, it's just yeah it's just an important card i mean there's not a lot of depth in the image so there's you know it's it's all foil except the writing on the page which is cool but it's hard to get that detail oh yeah no that's that's cool i mean they are coming uh, and the the way he speeds up because he doesn't ha he's running out of time that's such a cool hero prop i mean the 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 level of detail i just what a what a great okay we gotta we gotta sleeve this up last pack magic pulling a seventh foil i was not expecting that i thought i thought we were all done with the foils yeah, we're gonna put that in a hard sleeve too
Wow. Pathfinder. Mordor's Strength. Threat of the Unknown. Eric Soldier. Stairs of Kazadoom. Sam, son of Hamfast. What is this new devilry? I don't think we pulled one of these yet. To play Exert a Moria Orc plays to your support area. While the fellowship is at site five or higher, each companion's twilight cost is plus two. So that's cool, uh, giving, making it harder to grow your fellowship in the end game. Dwarf and Delf Chamber. When the fellowship moves to Dwarf and Delf Chamber, Gimli or two other companions must exert. That's a crazy image. Not easily destroyed. Plays to your support area. Maneuver or skirmish. Remove three to heal an Asgul. And that's the last rare. Ulera Teia. Keeper of Dol Guldir. Remove one to make him strength plus one. Limit five. So if there's still five twilight on the, on the pool by the time his skirmish comes around... He can go from a strength 12 to a strength 17, which is enough to over overwhelm anybody less than a 9. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I have one of those, so that's pretty sweet. There's a lot of these cards that I don't have, so uh, let's do a quick overview before I send you all home. Uh, with the foils that we drew. So first up, it was uh, Toll Brand Deer. Beautiful location foil. Um, yeah, that is awesome. All right. And then I believe we drew the gaffer next. And that's a, a rare foil character card, which is... You know, that's the right words in a row you want to hear when you're collecting. Uh, really nice, nice foil. And then we we drew Bilbo's pipe. That's an uncommon. Um, yeah, just the background's all foiled up. Really makes the smoke stand out. Nice. I mean interesting choice to just use movie stills rather than original artwork um but i love it i wouldn't want it any other way um i think that's great uh and then we drew probably the best i think this is the best pull of the night um yeah definitely power according to his stature um so this is this is the scene in the movie where Frodo pulls up his sword um, when the Nazgul are climbing up the hill. Um, I don't think this is Sting. I think this is just one of the scrap swords that Aragorn gave him um, at, in the first part of the movie. Add one burden to wound each minion skirmishing the ring bearer. This has saved my life many a times. Um, one of the most iconic cards in the game. Um, yeah, that 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 makes it all worth it right there. That's crazy. Um, I think it was the raiding parody next. Uh, nothing special, just a beefy Urukai raiding party damage plus one all the all the trees and the grass is all foiled in and the minions themselves are just regular really cool really really looks nice um another good one yeah 
Aragorn leading the hobbits and build a pony up the hill. And then, yeah, this is dope. I mean, just such a great card. So that is our seven foils right there. And then we'll do a quick look at the rares. So we got the cave troll. We got Gimli's Helm. We got the Black Steed. Uh, an Able Guide. Their Splendor of their Banners. Ulair, Toldea, Despair. The Mirror of Galadriel. Boromir Sword. Arwen. Excellent pull. Morgul Warden. Uh, that's a great Frodo to have. Aragorn's bow. That's awesome. Trolls keyword. Nobody tosses a dwarf. In the ring rats wake. Change of plans. The Irresistible Shadow. Elrond. Albert Dreary. Glamdring. Morgul Hunter. Alive and Unspoiled. Goblin Armory. Um, probably the second best pull. Um, Morgul Blade. The Underground. Uh, Under Deeps of Moria. Atar, Greatest Kingdom of My People. Some of these are just a mouthful. Pippin, um, Wealth of Moria, Ulyratea, uh, Sam, Faithful Companion, uh, Questions That Need Answering, Beauty is Fading, The One Ring of Sealder's Bane, and Orc warband so thank you everybody for watching uh we'll get back out here as soon as i can